My name is Alvin Brooks. That's A O V I N. I've been in this city since I was about eight or nine months old and uh, seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. People talk about reconciliation, but you can't have, you can't reconcile the situation unless you tell the truth about it. I was with the police department up until 1964. The black community was under siege. So I saw that from the inside. And then there were three of us who were black men left the police department going to the school district. Then there was the riots. We began on the steps of City Hall on April 9th, 1968. And mainly because the Kansas City School District under the white leadership decided that they would not close the schools on that Tuesday, the 9th. And we urged them, don't open the school. They didn't listen to us. And the morning of the 9th is when the kids began to realize that their Kansas City, Kansas colleagues were out. And it started Mount Manuel High School, and then to Lincoln High School, then to Central, then to East and Southeast, Westport. They were gassed at 31st in Indiana. They were gassed at 31st in Truce. So they headed north on Paseo. So I met them at 22nd and Vine, coming north. Curtis McClendon of the Kansas City Chiefs, Otis Taylor of the Kansas City Chiefs, Bruce White was Kansas City Council person. We walked down City Hall, westbound and the eastbound I-70 lane. We got there, there were a number of speakers. I was the last speaker. Kids kept chanting my name to speak because of my responsibility for the school district. After that, the police are here in, in ride gear. So I sensed the need to get these kids out of here. First bus arrived, and just as they heading east on 12th Street from Loka, tear gas was thrown, and the bus had to be evacuated. And later on, Buses came and brought two kids out there, holy name Catholic Church. Police followed them out and they threw tear gas in the church. Now I'm setting the stage for the riot. It really started there that day because frustration and anger. And that night is when all hell broke loose. I was appointed the first director, first black director in city government. I set up the human relations department. There was no department of human relations. It was now I assigned a couple people on staff to put together a black history Month celebration. But there was so much resistance on the part of my colleagues. And it ought to be something that we all can do. We begin with each one of us. Where's my heart? Where's my very being? What do I say about things like racism and bigotry and homophobia and xenophobia? It's different. What, what do I say about that? Do I say it, even if it doesn't affect me, do I say something about it? I should. 